this video, I'm going to show you what really happens the first time you try an acrylic pour. You've seen all the videos showing you how easy it is. Well, let's see what happens when you really try and have a go. I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts, and this channel is dedicated to crafting on a budget. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you cover everywhere up. So my first tip is to cover your table, and if possible, use a tray like I've got here. Put something small in there and make sure your canvas is raised up so you can get your fingers underneath it you are going to make a mess. Link to that is my next tip to wear gloves. You will get covered in acrylic paint and you can wash it off, but you know, it takes ages. So if you can wear some plastic gloves, you're gonna need some sort of containers. I've got these plastic cups because I bought a kit, but you can use egg boxes, you can use cake cases, anything you've got to hand. So I'm gonna do the kiss pour technique for my first try, why not? So I'm gonna pour different paints into each cup. So make sure that you tilt your cup over so they don't just all mix together and you get all these layers of paint. Now I've put tip three up a lot of paint because I thought I'd mixed a lot of paint and it turns out I really hadn't. You do need an awful lot of paint to do paint pouring. A lot of it gets wasted. So just make sure you've got a lot in your cups. So now we come to the exciting bit, and let's pour the paint. So you can see why this is called a kiss pour. You've got two cups, you've got two streams of paint, and they just meet each other and then go down onto the canvas. I'm just moving the cups about a little bit, purely because I've seen it on other videos. This really is the first attempt I've ever made with a brand new kit. So you can see all the paint pooling, and my tip now would be keep going. You need an awful lot of paint on there and I didn't really have enough. It looked like a lot, but you need loads. And then start tilting. So you don't need to tilt it too much and just get it all running one way. And my next tip is gonna be make sure you go to the corner. You'll see that I didn't go to the corner and then I'm having to run back to try and make it reach that corner. So make sure you run all the way to the corner. You'll notice I'm having to tip the canvas an awful lot, an awful lot more than in all those fancy videos. And that's because I haven't really put enough paint on. So however much paint you think, increase it and add more. But despite this being my first pour, you can see the effects starting to appear on the canvas. You'll also notice I've made it to a vertical now, just to try and get the paint to keep, more, keep moving around the canvas. You'll also be able to see all the paint in the tray that's dripping down there. Even though I haven't got enough paint on there, there's still quite a lot dripping off, but there should be an awful lot more. So I've now resorted to turning the canvas over fully just to get it to go to the edge. And that really is as much as I can do. So you can see there's a problem. I haven't covered the whole, the whole canvas. So if you don't manage to cover the whole canvas, just add some more paint. Put it wherever you want some more paint to be. You could even select certain colours if you wanted. I'm just using up what was left in the cup. And then tilt again. And just get it to run to fill all those spaces. So it's not so pretty, not such an elegant job as when you see the experts doing it. Well, not bad. And then once you've decided you really can't get it to run anymore, if you're still having trouble filling, you could add some more paint again. Or you can simply touch that little bit up. And my final tip is to have some sort of tool. You really are going to need one. Now, you can see I'm using it to spread some paint out, but really what you need it for is to run under the edge of the canvas at the back to stop it dripping anymore and to just finish that edge off. But you'll see I'm also using it. I'm scooping up some of the runoff paint and using it to cover the edge of the canvas. Because if you haven't quite got enough paint, you might not cover the edge of the canvas. I've also got some little bubbles, which I'm just going to use the tool to pop. And that's it. That's what I managed to achieve the first time I ever poured acrylic paints. So let's let it dry and then you can see the final thing. 
So thank you for watching. Good luck with your acrylic pouring. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to see some more videos.